as I came back from EUS, where I taught so many uh, dignitaries even today, I, I met, for instance, the, the president of, uh, of Ethiopia today, uh, Dr. Mulatu, Dr. Uh, Mulatu Tashome. From Arjo area. From Arjo area, he was in grade 10 at the time. And I also taught, you know, people like Marcella Haile, engineer, who is an engineer now. Uh, and I'm glad, you know, to, to have done that, uh, really. Uh, and there were also many revolutionaries uh, in Wallaga at the time who were demanding land to the tiller also because they had injections from university uh, students to, to, to ask for these critical, ask these critical questions like, for example, example Finch Aha. Finch Aha electric power gives light to the rest of Ethiopia into into Finfine and beyond but at the time Walaga was in the darkness sure. and we did fight for that we did fight we did uh, shout we made uh, our own slogans we posted uh, our grievances and that ultimately uh, had shaken Haile Selassie's government and when I came back after 1965 Ethiopian calendar in 1966 the year 1966 the as you know the revolution uh, I uh, uh, after finishing first semester of 1966 uh, the Haile Selassie government was toppled. Well, 1974 is yes and if you, you know, in Europe in 1974, yeah. the revolution uh, had changed everything. Particularly, uh, I thought those revolutionary students and the civilians would really come to power. But none of us were organized. None of the civilians were organized. None of the students were organized in, uh, in, in to take the power uh, uh, after the failure of Haile Selassie. The only organized force was the armed force. The Dirk. Uh, yes, the Dirk came to power. And, uh, uh, you know, I was, uh, I was thinking of finishing my studies after two months, but uh, the Dirk decided to send all the students in the high school, in the university, to, uh, on to, uh, to the Zamacha the campaign, campaign. The campaign through cooperation. Uh, the Zamacha, it was that was called, yes. We all of us had to leave for the Zamacha. And again, I went to Nakamti as a liaison officer for uh, students because I was a fourth year student and the other students were from high schools. So I had to uh, guide them, instruct them, coordinate the cultural uh, aspects of the area uh, I know uh, I got it from elders I wrote something also in that uh, in that direction I was uh, advising uh, students to help to help the farmers uh, as I uh, myself <laughs> you know the son of a farmer uh, I know the difficulty of farming and uh, I know the difficulties of farmers also. So uh, we tried to, to, to build roads, to build bridges, to construct uh, houses and the like. And uh, uh, when the land to the tiller was, uh, 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 was declared, in fact, before the declaration of land to the tiller, I was sent with a group of people. I remember Dr. Mulato Jote, and there is also an agriculturalist with us. We had we were given a Land Rover to try to go to Western Wallaga, all the way from Gimbi. Western, yeah, from Western uh, uh, Oromia, Western Western Addis Ababa, down to Beni Shangur. 
instructing students how to, you know, uh, we were telling them the secret was was told to us that soon the derg was to announce land to the tiller, and we were asked questions by the Zamacha students, and we were you know more or less promising them that there would be there would be a, a declaration to the effect that land would be given to the tillers. So. Uh, when we returned on our way back, uh, we uh, landed at Addis Alam. Ejere. Ejere. We landed at Ejere, we uh, stayed overnight there, and in the morning, I remember the day was a Tuesday, and the land to the tiller was declared. <laughs> and everybody was very happy. Horses, you know, horsemen, you know, almost uh, 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 escorted us to the to to Finfinne on that day. I remember it was a day, it was a day of joy and happiness, particularly to the acutely all the lines euphoria. Yeah. euphoria. Yes, euphoria. All the uh, all the uh, particularly the farmers around Finfinne were highly oppressed and highly exploited, and they were very happy for uh, the declaration to you know to the effect that they got the, the land and the connection between the tenants and the landlords was completely destroyed and broken that was a euphoria it was a day of happiness and uh, it seems to me even today the, the groundbreaking work that the Derg has done is to uh, uh, give land to the tiller, and in 1975 it had also announced urban land and urban uh, uh, extra housing should be given to the poor. Uh, confiscation by confiscation the government. Confiscation by the government, but that was not really as uh, radical as the, the, the land. The land. Uh, some people were, you know, some people had suffered the consequences of the uh, urban housing declaration. I went back to Nakamte in order to uh, really streamline uh, urban land uh, declaration also, <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, I was I was uh, uh, with a committee, and now God bless his soul, the Tavara Opsi uh, was an agriculturalist. Uh, he died. We worked together. We two of us worked together, and divided the nine Kabbalists of Nakamti that is today operating. And then you came back to the University then, of Egypt. And then I came back 1960, 1968, right. Ethiopian calendar, end of 68, and that was 1976. You graduated? Yes, 1976, after three months, I submitted my uh, final uh, BA senior essay and graduated. After my graduation, um, I was uh, recruited uh, by the Faculty of Education at the time because of my, my background as a teacher and because of relatively good grade, uh, you know, final grade, final uh, GPA. GPA. Uh, and I had, uh, you know, we were two out of eight students who graduated from history and two of us had gone to the faculty of a, a, a education we had to be interviewed they wanted to take one oh, history teacher Mr. teacher yes and uh, uh, I answered questions and uh, because of my, gra my background as a teacher, the, uh, the interviewers were uh, very much impressed and I was retained as a graduate assistant in the Faculty of Education. At Addis Ababa University? At Addis Ababa University. Uh, I don't know why the history department did not want to retain me at the time, but uh, it was supposed to do it. Nevertheless, at the Faculty of Education, I started teaching at Baidamaria. 
by the Mariam Secondary School on campus, grade 11 and 12. And there are students whom I taught. They are now doctors teaching at Addis Ababa University with me. Uh, and I'm very happy they, they're all uh, to produce a, a, a working, uh, uh, able-bodied and uh, uh, mindful uh, uh, teachers who are teaching. Teaching now with me. Well, then you did your master's degree there at the same university uh, with your uh, Tesis entitled The Ormo Wallaga, a historical survey to 1910, uh, that uh, you uh, got your master's degree in 1980. How was that? Yeah, uh, before, before I talk about that, uh, I would like to tell you how I, was tra how I was transferred to the history department per se. <laughs> um, you know, the, the Dirk. Uh, you know, uh, uh, gave chances to as many students who have passed ESLCE to come to the main campus at Addis Ababa to, to take uh, courses in history, geography, you know, the, it's known as a freshman program. History department was overwhelmed. I was teaching at Baidamariam. Uh, my, my teacher uh, who is now teaching, Mr. Chapel came uh, to me. David Chapel. Yes, Mr. David Chapel came to me and said, "Ah, please, Tasama, help us. Now we have so many students in the history department." I uh, I did not ask him, but I wanted to ask him, "Why didn't you recruit me to the history department at the before at the beginning?" Ah, uh, yeah, uh, they, you know. People, because of your background in the history department or in other departments, they, they try to push you out, not in, you know, take you in, they push you out. But nevertheless, now they were forced. I went, uh, took a part-time job within the university, getting my salary from Baidamaria and getting my part-time work also from the history department. And when I entered into teaching of the freshman program, I honestly tell you, I was overwhelmed by students. Students liked my teaching, they liked my preparation, they liked my mode of delivery. I was very happy. It was the students that forced the history department to, to recruit me. And when by the Maria was closed, I was transferred to the history department as a lecturer. David Chappell, an Irishman? Am I mistaken? Uh, he's, he's, a, he's a British. British man. He's a British man, yeah. He's and, uh, uh, yeah, history. I know him because uh, he also taught my friend uh, at the beginning of, I uh, know, at the end of the uh, 90s, 1998 and 1999 and so. And uh, actually, they told me that you were smart enough at uh, teaching that. Yeah. What about your PhD? How did you go to the United States of America to study yeah. at the Michigan State University? Yeah, first of all, you know, uh, when MA was opened here for the first time, three of us from history got the chance to join because the Addis Ababa University had the program of staff development. We had to teach and at the same time do research in MA take courses in MA and you know the load was very very heavy and uh, uh, we were talking about MA why are, why did they open MA why don't they send us abroad they wanted to to make us guinea pigs but definitely in history uh, it is here that you can do research I was very happy in in that case and um, I uh, joined that MA and I was asked to formulate a topic and all the time my you know when I took my undergraduate history courses I was really unhappy about the explanations given in the various books about the Oromo uh, in starting from distorting the name of the people, they continue to distort the history of the people. 
And when I uh, uh, read some underground works that come through about the Oromo, the Oromo were not as depicted in many of the chronicles, in many of the books written by expatriates, as well as uh, Ethiopian uh, instructors. So, I said, I did, was to start off from the so-called 16th century. Thank <laughs> you.